Hold on, man. Chapter 2, now we're on number 3. I'm interested to see the ending. Prize me or something. He goes, Oh, yeah. And he proceeds to say, um, I want to see what it is. But he goes, Oh, this happened. Like, this happens. I'm like, What? And he goes, I'm just kidding. I haven't, I've never played the game before, but I know what it is. And he wants to play it. But he's he's just going to go, Oh, you know, I uh, just randomly said that. He just said something random. So for what he said, oh yeah, chapter one, um, Mark dies or something. But he, but from what we have seen, Mark is not dead in chapter one. So like, as an example, that's what he said. It's like he said something random, just for a guess. He's he's just guessed it and then gone. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I've never played it. <laughs> this day takes forever. I need to make sure my phone's actually working. Like that cat, bro. I need to make sure my mic, my mic is working right. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> That's a. Um, hang on. Let me turn that down the halfway. Okay. Um. Okay. I think we have it. Oh, so much better now. Okay. I'm not using this, which is making it. All Shabby, 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 shabby. Might shave actually. He's got, he's got. No, I guess. We'll leave it like that. His hair's gone, but. but yeah. I mean. All my days. That's Morning, all. Arthur. Morning. Why do I say like that? I hate how I say that. Actually, before you jump on the walls, is there anything here that we need to do? Okay, Mr. P. P. Okay. Okay, Mr. P. Okay, so let's go see what Mr. P. needs. We'll go see what uh, P. needs, and then um, do whatever that is, and go to Dutch. So Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <laughs> well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. Sorry, my microphone disconnected. And things hunting out there. They got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Ad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah. Sure. Here's my list. And can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Like I said, drive to the store, not ride yes. to the store. Well, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. 
Where's that letter? Oh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tassis Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Exactly what we're going on here. Quite a fair bit. <clears throat> I'm not taking control of the war. Fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. How have you been? Come on, Benny. Like to Mail. post a letter. All right. Okay. No trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Uh, I feel like something wrong just happened, so I'm just gonna quickly go check. I'm trying. Try harder. Where'd you get the outfit from? I think this is everything. Well, good morning, Thanks. Sir. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. It's just me, little she. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, you get baby, a different get a move on. I like Sadie. Sadie. I know. Oh, Sadie. Yeah. This is Adam. Which is Sadie. So, you get everything? I think so. And some uh, new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well Dude. want. Like she I get... told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You 
You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! Two bounties captured in unique encounters. Oh. What the hell was that? They was good. Ah! I'm going to run this son of a bitch down. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. Okay there, Sadie. Of course. You think I can't handle these fools? There, see? Not many still standing now. Told you I could shoot a gun. I don't remember asking you to prove it. here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine hey watch it we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell dutch maybe if he asks but maybe not. Yeah. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pierce about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. <gasps> you didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but... I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Good morning, Arthur. Arthur! You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I'm just looking out for you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. What's uh? What's his name?
So I managed to get back into Valentine and collect on those sheep. What? That wasn't too smart. It was fun. I put your yeah. share in your wallet. Okay. Thanks. Arthur. There's fun over there. Um, no, like where you can purchase stuff. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. This is not what I want to deal with right now, okay? Oh, well, excuse me. That's it. This is a hundred and ten. Don't need the war stations would be a better chance like with stuff. Chicken coop would be good. That's what if you can boat. Don't you need a boat as such? Don't need this stuff. My tent carries the ammo in it. That's good to know. <sighs> what? My lord, you're old. Oh, shut up, Arthur. I'm only kidding around. Well, don't. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, How you doing, old friend? <coughs> it's funny, busting it up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. They're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over, Dutch. <laughs> oh, 
always dream crushing and bubble bursting. Come on, Isaiah. Let's go fish. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. God damn it! Uh, Easy. <laughs> Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. A curious couple and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. <laughs> Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Pull me up, David. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on. What are you waiting for? I'm out here! Woo! Uh, idiot! Now get after the others. Come on! The train is slowing down to go. 
Go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Uh, uh. Hurry. Get alongside it. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Hey, why me? Now we're throwing bombs. The low down fast. Stop bastards. Uh, they didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, arrest me now. Damn fool. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. <sighs> Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine oh, job. So well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said just got down here another big family in these parts they have an estate west of here awful people truly awful they've been fighting with the grays for as long as i can remember sounds like quite the place you got here we're gonna bear left here to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We 
They also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop, don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more <coughs> trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Now, make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. <coughs> and where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan the edge of town behind the church it's horrible but no one comes looking the whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families his lot grays and braithwaite's interesting two old plantation houses and falling out over rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying arthur that's what jose you start poking around See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 <coughs> years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, happy, happy, happy Easter to everyone as well. We had Easter today. Um, happy Easter okay. for the people who so have two Easter plantation tomorrow. families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea... Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Then you learn how to whistle. It's told me the things, but I forgot them. Of course, it doesn't. Same temperature. Wait. Oh, what the fuck? That's insane.
Is there a whistle control? Are you kidding me? What button? All right, gentlemen, follow me. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pile. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. <laughs> We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. Open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. Uh... This is the spot, down to the left there. Finally. Easy. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Thanks for us to go find boats. Hey, those the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Yeah. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Yes, it does. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. I didn't see no boats in I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use That's a lake right. lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something.
something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, uh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Learn as it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. I think that's a bite. Now reel him in, Arthur. Got him. What man? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm fishing. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Well, it Told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. There, hooked him. Hey, Jose. I don't think I'll put anything Remember that like. time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. You're getting the hang of this. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head yeah. back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. Good invest. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the tables was done. I couldn't, couldn't wait, wait till the tables was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. I wish I could have a faster bite. I wish I could have a faster bite. Tater got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know. What song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we need three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Maiden is a bully boy. Men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. maintain. 
to them. We dance this round around around to them. We dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, boy. come pledge me on this ground up, round up, round up, round up, round up, round up, round up. Not let the folks back again. He didn't really have that much fun back. <laughs> All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Oh. I always know, whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. <coughs> this place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. It's probably going to be insane, to be honest. <laughs> You're probably going to have to be somewhere well, else. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Do whatever. You tied to the tree. No. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Right, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Here he is, worst pimp in the history of the world. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. You see anyone laughing? I <laughs> guess not. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well Good. enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. He's not... Come on, then. Tell me. He's, he's Here's the list. list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. I'm having a tiny break. You guys have a break too.
This guy, but I feel like he's I feel like we're gonna have to go back the other way. Right? Okay. So I reckon on the way back from this mission. Hi. We're gonna just sit hard and Catch all kinds of hell from the sheriff over this. I vote Who we don't are you? Tell him. What are you doing here? Man, no, I have to come in here. What do you want? This here, the gray plantation. Yep. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Thank you. Okay, boy. Let's go. <sighs> I know they went inside your house, so. Uh, huh. I'll see yeah, you at the <laughs> sheriff's office. Excuse oh, me, Michael. Friend. Uh, 
We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. It is. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. It's very Beyond blood and, loyalty <laughs> and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. <sighs> we Greys, we've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know might, she loves to money. sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Alright, I'll deliver it. I'm all right on that one. Oh, look out for their guards! They're worse with strangers than ours are. I forget how to whistle to the horses. What the hell are you doing? Okay, one, as your fault, two, why? Oh no, please don't tell me it's this house. Oh no, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know where that. How about in the house is Penelope? Let's ride around the car. On the other side of the house. Okay, okay, you know what? Just stay here, just stay here. Of course, enough trouble to.
of a no, it was <laughs> Should I swim? Penelope, got your sign. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. By Romeo. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages. Or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they kill dead. him yeah, and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I. But my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are are there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. This is hope. Hello, this is just ruined. Which looks like red. Yep. Come on, boy. Yeah, maybe I want to the horse. <laughs> horse breaking. I was saying you can. to speak to me up. Yeah, I'll go back to Bo. Yeah. Come on. Oh, 
know if you use gun size. Get stopped again. Yeah, never much. Remember me? I'm working for the Grays now. All right, come on. Thank you. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yeah. Yes. Might I have it? Sure. Green. But it'll cost you. Green. Green seems to be uh, lighting. I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's here. <laughs> this will get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. Yes. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, and now. we fetch. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. That's not so sad. There's not enough 
Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Uh, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Well, that's how we on Main Street. It's about to get exciting. I can oh, no. feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get Mr. down! Come on! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and equal. Right, that's that's what I was. Founding fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers. You hey, silly old goat. Hey, oh. His philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always will. Bo, little... why don't we just leave him? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Thank you for something we said about that. This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. 
Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I got Maybe her. you're Julian. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. I really did anything, but I'll take it. <laughs> and it makes him walk away from my horse. I'm like, ten bucks. Yes, Miss hey. O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's <laughs> easy. And I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Uh, no, I am. This no. way. Well, and it's gonna out. get me killed. Yeah. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. While wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. 
found in the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Get home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. <laughs> See, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. I, I, don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Search the box. What is wrong with my new horse? Alright. Yep. Oh. Now come on. Sorry, my horse is being stupid. Alright. Let's get out of sight. What was so stupid about that was he didn't jump over the vents, he tripped like the horse trips over. Then I got back home. He proceeds to then jump over the, the fence without me pressing any button for him to jump over the fence. So I'm like, oh, okay, so it does work out. And then I go back home and eat. 
Stay until dark. So annoying. We'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Oh, yes. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, I, why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't, maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right, coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Looks like we're shooting up. I could have used that, but she's not too. Our way out of here, fellas! I fire this. Oh my god. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. Alright? Ah! So if you're on this side.
My hat! My Oh no, Bill, let's do this. Into the trees! Come on! No, I expected this to go. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods! Yeah, like every other person does that. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Hey! Oh! Doug Williamson, you're on the road. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick! Behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my Shh. right. Who's right? Wait, what right do I take? See anything? Not yet. Hey, I got a bunch of you right here. That's sad that you. Let's go. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glunk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glunk. Run quick. Good luck, Jess. Stay quiet. <coughs> Lenny wants to speak to me. We're going to talk to Lenny. No, I can speak to him. No. in a poor condition. I 
maintain your weapons by pressing on. to the fools in Congress and their ludicrous ideas. Boo. But today, we grow one... Yeah. So then you're able to like um so you do it and then you can aim at whoever you press uh, and have as many X's wherever on you and then you press R2 and it goes and it goes in there. Back to work, boy. <coughs> Just foxes are my favorite animal, and out of everything out here, that's why I choose, why I choose to kill it instead of any other animal that's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, as people from the camp have said, uh, we need food, so. Some people yeah. take it too. See, he automatically jumped over that. That'll be much appreciated. Well, a few changes never hurt. Yes, kid. You got Hi, a lot Arthur. on? Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. 
Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I'll have a look at that. Oh. All right then, let's go rob some food. This way, on me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And uh, after that, uh, uh -huh. a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all... Who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. I feel like if there's going to be a Red Dead Redemption 3, I reckon it'll be based off before this part. It's like, it shows what happened in Blackwater and stuff like that. Because they never mentioned what happened. So, I reckon, I reckon. I see the Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield. And keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. Yeah. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. 
Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. So, if we're walking through here, why haven't we been shot yet or confronted that way here? Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. <sighs> Whoa! What? Okay. Hear that? Someone's on the track. See where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. See, I didn't even just know two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could yeah. be. Worth the follow at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue. Between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mouths up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Yeah, ready. Did you see anything? Yes. Yes. There you're all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Shit, I know so dynamite so. crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Go on, buddy. Just give the word. Going on in, on. kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Shit. Mm -hmm. Can't put it back. I don't want it. back, right? Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. As all days. And so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come oh, in God. peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my people. Come on, kid. Now, uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved? My brother, praise be, huh? <laughs> praise be. I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said. <laughs>
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? I know, but I still ain't found nothing. <clears throat> this one looks good. Search it. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. No, Get this back to camp. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Don't spare the nag. Come on. Yeah. Come on. G up. Fall in. Crack that whip. <sighs> ah! Hey, Riders, coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines. What the? I pressed R3 and they killed me instantly. I don't know what I did. <laughs> <clears throat> no letting you think you can win a fight and kill them, so that just shows you how good of a shot you can Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. We need to get these back. Come on. G up. Call it. Let's see how fast they run. Uh -oh. yeah, yeah. All right. Coming our way. Keep it together. Start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Hey, the camp 
lives in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? No, keep <coughs> one, just from me. Hey. That's a piss of a I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. That's good. Where's is John at? How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. Okay, <coughs> well, let's talk more later. Whatever you say. Oh, you wanted to say something before, so you know, just check. Yeah, see you, see you so later. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh.